Jason. Bad idea. Trade from Josh. One Baltimore. A little bit. Just a little bit. One. Two. Who'd you lose to? Pico Blanca? Who did I team with that Smash guy? Oh, me and Soto. Sombrero and... This is important, is it? Yeah, They're it is. playing like it is, but why isn't the screen adjusted? Uh, Jason didn't change it. Uh -huh. Did you change it to this one? And this is game two or three? Or one? Game one. Wow, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Josh and Seems uh, like, yeah. Uh, they're they're, they're going to take it. They were behind. Uh, they made a comeback. Wow, I'm surprised they're blue. I've all, like never seen Bark in Dark ever go blue. I've still lost the, the color battle with 
Team Mexico. Team Battle. Well, I mean, Dreamland's on the table for these guys. Uh, they banned Dreamland. They ba you ban it for the whole set, or you ban it for just the counter strike? The counter pick? Really? So Mexico and Baltimore do not want to play uh, Dreamland. Oh no, no, no. Jason banned Dreamland. Yeah. So they're just gonna the keep keep banning it? Yeah, they don't want to play on the normal stage. They're using their familiarity with the new stages to Yeah, they, they do they do know Remix better than these guys do. Uh, Jason's one of the playtesters, so he gets to see every stage before anyone else does. And Josh, obviously, been playing it a little bit this weekend, especially. Uh, I wonder, so Sombrero in... Jaime, they're both Mexicali, right? Yeah. So they probably get at least some training in. I can imagine they play quite a bit. Sombrero, obviously, has had a really good tournament history for a little while now. Oh, the double. Yeah, we haven't really seen him in doubles yet, so this is this will be the test. Does Pico's up tilt hit through this, the plat? It looks I like it know. almost connected on the shield. Good spot. Yeah, nice by Dark Horse to pick that up. Didn't get it, though. Good try, though. Interesting in. Jaime's Pika. You almost never see him Pika in doubles. He's usually Kirby. Yeah, but Sombrero's Yeah, kind of yeah, a... and they don't want to go double Kirby, I guess, because Jaime's Kirby is really good. He's so patient. He just never dies. He recovers every time. He knows how to use every single jump and avoid every single edge guard. See, blue team not pushing for space. They're like... Not sure. They're just kind of holding what they have. Yeah, I don't think they want to get too aggressive against these guys. They, they just say, oh. we, we're up a game. That was kind Let's of aggressive. just try to stay up a stock. Well, now they're down a stock, but the percentage is kind of in their favor. Re they're real quick spot from being uh, up up a stock and down a stock. So. He goes off stage. Get the Kirby. Mm, tough. Good control by Sombrero to not let them get the edge guard on, on Jaime. He kind of just scared them off so some, uh, Jaime could recover. The big thing in doubles is uh, saving your teammate isn't usually about hitting them back so they can get their up B again. It's usually about uh, controlling the the ledge so that they get a safe recovery. And sometimes yeah. you can even turn it around if they overcommit. You know, you gotta you get basically a counter edge guard. And here they are. They're now up a stock. That's that percentage played out in their favor. I think, yeah, they got the stage advantage here too. I mean, really, over forward smashes. It's uh, kind of old meta. He was afraid. He was afraid. I don't. You know, Sobrero probably was already dead, so I guess he didn't want to risk his own his own approach. But I felt like he could get a bar back. Spark was to him. I feel like he could have gone in there and got a grab. Hard. It's hard to. Save a teammate getting up tilted by Kirby because half the time when you go to up like save yeah, them, you, just get, you get trapped in it as well. Their up tilt lasts a little bit longer from the hit lag. Really makes it hard to save. Sometimes you just gotta let them eat the up tilt and wait till they're in the air and then punish after like a back air or something. Oh wow. Jason thought he had to try and save Josh there, but then uh, Josh somehow got out. So Bruno, how many jumps does he have? <laughs> No, not enough. Pull back, trying to steal Mark's stock there. Like, coming back with a spike, right. mid recovery. The Jaime escapes somehow, doesn't get killed. Hmm, pulls back, doesn't feel safe there. Oh, uh, Josh just went all the way. Yeah, I feel like with Jaime and Zabero, they play, they're playing fairly safe. They they just tied it up somehow. Yeah, but their percent is not good on Pika. That is, and Kirby's always a quick, a, yeah, like a. Get the right peak on there, and it could be a quick loss of that stock for a Kirby. And no jump, but he gets back. Great timing by Sombrero to get that up, to, that up B to just hit Pikachu before the edge guard comes out. Tough team. Oh, good F smash. That's both of them. And now, and now they're in the lead. Oh, they got him. I think they. Oh wow, 
Good job by Bark. Using the invincibility to just scare them. And now Jaime's on his last. Yeah. Sombrero's going to die before he can respond. Star KO. No, no Sombrero gets back. Sombrero gets Raved back. by Sombrero. He's in a bad position. But yeah, Jaime's just saying, look, I'll take Bark and Picadillos. I can be stranded in Picadillos. Just worry about Jason. But it goes back to this little really delicate oh, spot. Ah, that's tough for Sombrero. Not bad, though, for Jaime here. Um, get one hit. Get, if he can get a combo on one of these guys, get him off stage. Pika can be pretty deadly in 2v1s. I've seen it before. Ah, uh, that's tough. That's tough. I don't know if he wanted that forward air. It doesn't usually have the range to, to like, challenge. I feel like it might have gone to that low up air, but... Uh, seems like it's still a 2-0. Uh, best of threes, I guess. Okay, just so top four is best of five. Uh, breaking news, top four is best of five. <laughs>